What's up everyone? Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to my channel. A few days ago on the communities tab, I asked what my next video should be. I gave four options and almost half of everyone chose my boot collection. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. My boot collection itself is going to be pretty eclectic. I have, you know, really high end stuff and then super low end stuff. I've got really dressy stuff and then super casual stuff. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on each one of these boots. If you want to see a more in depth review, let me know in the comments and I'll leave chapters to everything out here as well but let's get into it first boot these are my ROA hikers I really like the ROA hikers these are I forget the name I'll leave it right here but I love the Vibram sole they're a full kudu upper these are the boots that I wear if I'm like legitimately hiking so they've got a lot of wear to them through here just an awesome boot I love ROA stuff because it's like high fashion with a function I hate when you're buying something and it's just like you're buying a hiking boot you should be able to hike with it that's kind of my idea on it if you're buying a work boot you should be able to work with it kind of that kind of thing I understand that you have like trench boots and work boots that are more dressy and, and you should treat them that way but if I like to wear it I like to beat it up and that's what it is and the kudu leather is awesome kudu leather I believe is like an Australian leather that is a they're abundant and you know they're obviously very ethically sourced and stuff like that but I really like these ROA boots um, I decided to go with the basic version I know that Elite Studios does like a more higher-end version that's kind of a little bit more fun that way but these are great I love the upper with like the shiny rivets and stuff like that just great boot i beat the heck out of them wouldn't have it any other way next up we've got a boot this is going to be on the lower end of my boots that i have these are my kind of army surplus military commando boots i had the lug sole put on them the lug sole gives it like a nice chunky kind of look. I've had these for about four months. My focus is like really beating these up. If it's like a really crappy snowy day, like I'm wearing these with a pair of jeans and I'm like stepping through water and dirt and everything. I want to beat these up. I want these to look old and grungy. The company that did these boots, these are by Addison Shoe Company. I believe they're out of like North Carolina or South Carolina. The leather on them is great. They're Goodyear welted so they could be resold. I really like the highness of the boot. I love the chunky sole that I added to it. And then it's kind of got the bulbous toe. I really like this boot. It's my like beat up kind of wear to everything. Really don't care. And this will be the boot that I wear during the zombie apocalypse. Next, you already know the boot. This is my Morha Hiker. So I've had these for a little over a year now. I've really started to wear them just because I don't know if they're gonna be a boot that I'm gonna have in my collection for quite a while. Mainly because this tongue right here always slides to the side. So if you tuck it in, it's always sliding to the side. It's not like it's sliding to the side and it's just like there. It almost like comes underneath my foot. So it becomes really annoying. The leather, however, has gotten really soft. So it's very supple leather. I like the silver hardware and it's got their version of a lug sole. They're actually very comfortable and the, the leather is broken in really nice. So I do actually like them aesthetically. I will say that if you look really close, like in this area right here, they're starting to rust, which is kind of interesting. So. We'll see where that goes, but I really like these boots and they've actually, since the last time I did a review on them, they've actually grown on me even more. This is my Morha Hikers. Great kind of in, in between like dress boot, casual boot, but you can still go out in the snow. I put a huge scuff on the front of it like the first week that I had it, which sucks. But I've really enjoyed these and the Commando is great with like a pair of Orslo denim, black denim, blue denim. They're just so versatile. Next. You guys already know, these are my Our Legacy Camion boots. I've had these for probably about four or five months now and I wear them quite a bit. I wear them in a dress setting more than I do in a casual setting. Right now in Chicago in the winter, it's dingy out and these are not waterproof or water resistant. I, I did wear them out once and my feet got wet. So I'm gonna try to wear these more during the summer. I've definitely put them through the ringer. Like you can see that there's like some scuffs there. The one thing that I will say about them is the quality is kind of interesting. If you look on the inside of these, you'll see that it, like the leather is splitting from the sole and these are like four months old i'll put a better picture here it's almost like where they were painting over the calf skin it like stuck to the midsole as they were putting it on it's very interesting but i really like these they're a great kind of they feel westerny but they also feel plain high-end dressy the color that i got this looks brown but they call it olive i don't know if it's like a burnt olive or something like that but the our legacy camion boots 
They're amazing, they're resolable. I really like them and they're like a great kind of in between dress up, dress down. Next up, four more pairs of boots to go. This is a boot that I got last year. I didn't do a video on it. So these are my RM Williams yearling boot. I really like these because they have kind of a round pointed toe. They've got a bit of an elevated heel and then they've got a really nice top. I got these, I had the Saint Laurent Wyatt boots with the straps on it. And I really liked those, but they were, the quality just didn't seem worth it to me price wise. I ended up selling them. They were just a slightly too narrow for like my aesthetic. These are kind of like a little bit wider, but still have that narrow toe. I really like that. They have a full leather bottom with a Goodyear welted sole. This is called a yearling leather. So essentially what a yearling leather is, is it's not calfskin, but it's not a steer hide. So it's it's gonna give you the properties and, and shine of a calfskin, but it's gonna be a little bit more hard wearing. They're an Australian company again. They're known for super high end quality boots. I really like these. I love the block heel. It's got the block kind of almost like a Cuban heel. I love the calfskin. They're tighter on the ankle up here I love the single single stitch like the only stitch on here is gonna be here so they're like a, a single piece of leather which I really like but overall these are probably one of my favorite boots I wear these a lot more with kind of a suit if I'm trying to kind of elevate a suit but whenever I'm trying to get like that skinny jean Saint Laurent kind of vibe this is the one that I'm going with again these are the RM Williams yearling boot this is a boot that I've had. I told you this was an essential for me a couple months ago, but this is my Bottega Veneta lug boot. This is probably one of my favorite boots I've ever owned. I love how like around the ankle, it's starting to kind of like roll. Gives it a really kind of cool aesthetic. Um, they are a calfskin upper with like a big chunky lug sole. They were very expensive. Bottega Veneta is an expensive company. The reason why I got these is it's actually kind of a funny thing. I bought a pair for Victoria and she didn't like them. So I went to go back and return them and learning that they are exchange only. So instead of, she's not a purse person, she's not like she's not gonna wear any of the clothes there. I ended up buying them for myself or exchanging them for myself and I've fallen in love with them. I wear these mostly with like a crop or like a long pant. Again, I'm short, so the extra like two and a half inches gives me a really good proportion. It makes my legs a lot longer and it gives me a good proportion when I wanna wear like a bigger pair of pants or an oversized pair of pants. I love the high collar of it, although you, I never wear it like stacked like this. I always wear it like covered. Um, I just think the high top version is the better of the two versions. I'll probably have these for a couple years. Even if they go out of style, there's something that I'm gonna continue to wear. This is the first version. I didn't like the second version just because it had too many colors to it, but this is the Bottega Veneta lug boot. I've got two more boots and then we're done. The next boot is more of a dress boot. I'm very excited. I've had these for probably four or five years, uh, maybe even longer. I probably had these for like five, six years. They're like a chunky boot, but I wear them almost exclusively with a suit. These are my trickers. So for those of you who don't know what trickers are, I did a small video about them a few videos ago. So trickers is a Northampton based company. They've been making shoes and more country shoes. Um, for quite a while, but they're handmade in London. They're one of the oldest shoemakers in London and their quality is amazing. They do more chunkier round toe stuff. These are called the Burford. It's like B-U-R-F-O-R-D. I'll uh, put the name like right here. And they're a black calfskin. They're beat up, I've worn them, I've had them for a while, but I love the toe box, I love the chunkiness of the heel. I think I'm gonna replace the heel or the sole and put more of a lug sole on there. They do like a mini lug, which will give me a little bit more winter stuff, but they're wearing in so great. These are just awesome. Great with a suit, great with like a pair of like chinos or something along those lines. These are my trickers, worth every penny. These are like bulletproof. Like if you are looking for one pair of boot for the rest of your life that is like a dress boot, this is a boot that you can wear literally per day for the next 15 years, then have a resole and then wear them another every day for the next 15 years. They're triple leather sold. They're a huge heel. They're, they're storm welted. Uh, calf skin, obviously you have to take care of the calf skin, but these will literally last you forever if you want them. They probably weigh two pounds each. I got my last pair of boots. You already know what the boot is. I've done a video on it. It was like an essentials for me a couple months ago. This is my Brexit boot. So this is a boot that I have. I got this probably two or three years ago. I wanted to play on a Blundstone. So this is kind of a elevated version. It's a full calfskin upper. I love like that neoprene around the edge. 
big chunky sole. Um, I've done a video on these, like I beat them up. I wear all my shoes a lot and, and in Chicago, if it's the winter time, like they're gonna get destroyed. They're a great kind of wear it with jeans. I don't wear these like more professionally just because they're not like designed for that. But I love the little detail of the Prada on it. It's one of those things where it's like, if you know what it is, you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. Again, it's another pair of boots I'll have for quite a while. Okay, so I kind of lied to you. I have one other pair of boots that I just recently got. This was my February kind of pickup. I'm not gonna show you today though. Just tune in next video and I'll kind of walk you through my boots. If you can guess it, leave a comment below and see which one it is. But thank you for coming everyone. You have a great day, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.